Hello there, welcome back to another edition of Pimp My Filter. And in this one, we're going to be taking another look at one of the O6 series of canister filters from Fluval. Now this one is the baby of the bunch. This one is a 106. I'm pretty sure that I've uploaded the 206, 306 and 406 videos. So we've already got those ones covered. This one, to be honest, is going to be set up exactly the same way. But I'll just run through where the water flows and how we've set it up. Because this one actually arrived empty. Totally empty. Now if you want to see how one of these normally comes set up straight from Fluval, simply search for one of Fluval's videos. They will show you inside this and they'll show you all the gear that normally comes with it. Let's get the top off and I'll explain where the water flows and I'll also explain what I've done to basically put the inside of it back together again. Right, so if you've got eagle eyes, you'll notice that there's something missing from this top. That is the primer button, or more accurately, that's where the primer button should be. There should be like a little toadstool sort of shaped thing on here with a rod that you lift up and down to prime it. Unfortunately, that has been snapped off at some point, and I can see where Rich, who sent me this thing, has been grabbing a hold of that with a pair of pliers or something similar to lift that up and prime this. But that is where the primer button would be. That's in, that's out. Oh, oh yeah, bugger, there we go. Now, the seal on the inside of here is a really thick, lovely rubber seal. And that does get a hell of a hold. As you've seen, I had a bit of a job to get that off. So, water comes in through here, which has got like a little flappy one-way valve. It pours onto here. Then it goes through two sets of foams to the bottom of the canister and rises up through two little trees. As I mentioned before, if you want to see Fluval's version of this setup, just look for one of their videos. This one arrived empty, so this is what I've done. So in the cartridge in the outside, I've gone with a coarse foam on this side, bumpy side out, maximum surface area contact. And on this one, I've gone with a medium foam. Water always takes the path of least resistance. So first of all, it's going to go through here, clog that, then hopefully it should gravitate towards going through here. It may go through them both at the same time. That is okay. You could go with a coarse pad and a coarse pad. It doesn't matter. But the most important thing is the bumpy bits want to point out towards where the water is hitting them. That's the area of biggest surface. You can see there, a lot of surface area there. Because this is bumpy, that'll trap a lot of muck in here. And that ability to trap a lot of muck will hopefully extend the cleaning times because you don't want to be into this thing every five minutes to clean it out. And really, that is quite a big foam cartridge for such a small filter. That is offering you a lot of mechanical filtration. But we do have more mechanical filtration to come. So ultimately, the water goes through this, out the bottom, into the bottom of here, and rises up through these trays. I'll just show you the bottom tray first. So this is what the water's hitting first. It comes up from the bottom. It then hits a coarse pad with a bumpy side down. A medium pad with the bumpy side down. And then a fine pad. So that is all our mechanical filtration done. Then the water travels up through here and out to the pump, back out to the tank. Unlike the other O6 series that I set up, I haven't put Biohome Ultimate in this one. I've actually gone with Bio Gravel and there's 700 grams in there, which is probably about a pound and a half for you guys in the US. And that has absolutely maxed it out. And because it's round in shape, the water can get through there okay. It's not going to restrict the flow. Well, at least it's not going to restrict it too much. Certainly no more than any of those pads. 
course you can use this media in any other of your canister filters. I'm just putting it in here because really this is the only place for media. I want to max out this. Generally for a canister filter, I would go with the Biohome Ultimate. If you wanted to go with the Ultimate in here, you'd get about 500 grams, which is about 1.1 pounds. Of course, if you wanted to go with something else that was gravel shaped, you could go with Eheim Substrat Pro. That's a pretty good media and you'd it's a little bit lighter than biogravel, so you'd probably get 450 to 500 grams in there. Basically, anything that's good and porous will do. So that's a cartridge of really good, effective biomedia. If you did want to use any chemical media, it would go on top of the top tray. So it was the last thing water hit. Remember, we always go mechanical biological then chemical so the chemical media is operating in the cleanest possible water and that will extend its life and increase its efficiency so you'll notice that this sponge here is raised up a little bit that is basically to create some sort of barrier between this side and that side so when the water pours in it mostly stays in here you might get some going down the side there but hopefully the trays are tight enough together to minimize any bypass the idea behind that is that the water goes down here through the foams and then up so you it travels where you want it to go you know if you cut those two short the water might come over here it might sneak in under there I don't know keep those up about ooh, a centimeter maybe it's a centimeter and a half roughly three quarters of an inch above this cartridge and you'll be good okay so the top goes on and when I'm pressing that down I can really feel that seal just rolling in nicely and that's it Jobs are good and really good, solidly made, very efficient little filter. I really like the Fluval 06 series of filters. I've seen some people online whinging about them, but really I can't find much of a fault with them, you know? The little faults that they have had have been addressed in the new series, which is the 07, and in the next video I'll be taking a look at one of those filters. They're just a good, solid, honest sort of a filter you know there's nothing fancy about them but everything is there for a purpose you've got a good amount of mechanical filtration and you've got a reasonable provision for biological filtration ideally I would like to see that a little bit bigger but that's why they offer the four different sizes I mean in this one if you're going with the biohome ultimate you get 500 grams which is a pound in the next one up which is the 206 because it's got the extra tray which is the same size you can get a kilo which is 2.2 pounds in the 306 you can get a kilo in each tray so the two upper trays would give you two kilos which is 4.4 pounds and in the 406 you've got an extra tray again so one two three trays of media that gives you three kilos of biohome ultimate which is 6.6 .6 pounds anyway back to the 106 now because we've got approximately 700 grams of media in there, that makes this one suitable for a tank of roughly 70 litres if you wanted to see a full cycle whilst using the Biohome products. And 70 litres for you guys in the US is about 18 and a half US gallons. If you weren't bothered about a reduction in nitrate, you could go well above that. You know, I mean, this one is rated for tanks up to 100 litres. Generally, you would have that to be safe. So if it recommends 100 litres, you use it on a 50 litre tank. The next size up for 200 litres, use that on a 100 litre tank. And if you set it up like this with good media, you cannot go wrong. So a normally stocked tank to see a full cycle, setting it up like we've done, roughly 70 litres or 18 and a half US gallons. That might seem pessimistic, but it's realistic because it's that last part of the cycle, the anaerobic part that needs a certain amount of specific media to make it happen. That's what dictates what, you know, the size of the filter and how much media we need to provide a full cycle. If you want any clarification on that, just head to the 
Q&A page of the Filter Pro site. I'll put the link in the video description and also in the pinned comment. And if you want to check out the newer version of this, which is the 107, I'll put a link to the Fluval video, which explains the improvements that they've done. And I'll also put a link to any sellers of the 106 in the video description, because there's probably people doing deals on this, with it now being the old model. Still a very good filter though. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it wherever you want. I'm sure there's plenty of people with these that would like to see how to set them up efficiently. So share it wherever you want. Thanks for watching. See you next time.